Hey guys, I am here to make a wonderful makeup tutorial, but this time I'm gonna switch things up a bit because I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on an exotic look that I love to wear. And I get so many compliments, I said, you know what? This is something I must share with the world. So I'm just going to focus on doing the exotic part of the makeup that I'm going to introduce. That way, we can make the video short, sweet, straight to the point, and you girls get to learn how to do some really spicy look. Ooh la la. Okay guys, the design that I will do for today's video is this beautiful swirl. It's really exotic, and trust me, it will bring so many compliments to you. Okay guys, the eyeliner that I like to use for my exotic makeup is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and the reason why I like it is because of the brush. Okay guys, so to get on with the main event, um, you want to start your design right where your top lid and your bottom lid meet right here. Okay, if you see any, any areas that need a little bit of filling, just go ahead and go over them again. And this is kind of hard because I'm doing it on myself, but when you're using the pattern that you can buy through my eBay store, it will be on your face, so you, you only have to trace. This is, I'm freehanding this. So to you, it will be a lot easier. Okay, now I'm going to continue doing the additional details that the design has. And, and guys, if you hear voices in my video, uh, you're hearing things, and I really suggest you go to a shrink or something like that. But not really, I'm kidding. It's my daughter, she's here with me and she is the best gift God has given me. But um, yeah, I just figured I'd make a little joke out of that. But um, but yeah, you really are hearing voices, just saying. And um, <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm, I, I need to refill my, my brush again and I'm continuing to do the details that this design has until I do them all. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, um, you're going to have to do this step if you're not using the stencils that I sell on eBay. And um, the, um, the little voice is telling me to shush. <laughs> but you, as you can see, my design, the way to do the step is to do an imaginary line across your face. From the lowest part of the design to the other side. So the lowest, if you look straight at your face in the mirror, you're going to notice in this particular example that I did on my face that the lowest part of the design is right along the bottom of my nose. So I'm going to do a straight imaginary line and I'm going to draw a little dot. As you can see, I already did the dot that it's about, it doesn't have to be perfect, but about the same distance. You know, we want to be as symmetrical as possible. So after you do that, you're going to do the same for the, the, the highest part of the swirl. Okay guys, so I did my reference, bottom reference point, now I'm going to do the highest point of my swirl. So if I measure from the lowest part of the swirl to the highest part of the swirl, it's about a quarter inch. So I'm, I'm going to do another dot right above this one that's about a quarter inch higher. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but the closest you can get it to, the best. So I think about a quarter inch is right about here. So I'm going to do my other reference dot right there. And that should give me a swirl that's the same size. So I already know where I start. I start right here at the corner where my upper and bottom lid meet. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then I just have to make sure that my swirl meets both sides. 
Oh, I did a little oopsie there, but ta-da! That's actually pretty symmetrical. And then I just have to do the details and we will have a finished look. Okay guys, so I accidentally did the top so a little too thick. So to fix an oopsie, you're gonna wet your Q-tip with makeup remover. Uh, baby oil will also work if you don't if you ran out of makeup remover. And you can also use soap and water, but then you, you should remove the soap after to prevent any irritation. But press the Q-tip a lot. As you can see, I'm pressing a lot. And spin it towards the design, and you can see, see that? Look at that. Look at how perfect that was removed. And then you might just want to apply a little bit more of your foundation, but that's basically how you remove the area that needs fixing. I'm gonna remove a little bit more to, to show you again how to do it. Again, you gotta press a lot. As you can see, my skin is sinking, and the reason why you wanna press a lot is because that way it'll take 100% of the ink that's in that spot you want to fix. If you don't press, then you might leave that grayish area there, and you're not gonna have a clean finish. So again, pressing is the key part, and as you can see, it came out almost perfect. I cannot see any gray left behind. Alright, so that's how you fix it and I'm gonna finish the design now. Okay guys, I just kind of did a little bit more shaping on some of the dots that kind of look like squares. <laughs> but I see this one here, it's a little bit too big, I don't really like it. So I'm going to show you what happens if you do not press, as I explained when you fix an oopsies. Oh my goodness, look at that, oh no, all that great. See that's what happens when you don't press to fix an oopsies. Okay, but if you press real hard, it will pick it up nice and clean. See that? Nice and clean. Very little gray left because of, you know, the, the on purpose wrong picking up that I just did. That totally did not sound right, but you understand what I mean, right? It, it message went across. <laughs> but point is that you have to press. It's extremely important to press, otherwise you're gonna get that ugly grayish finish. And then of course just go ahead and grab your brush and do the little spot again. Ta-ta! And now, ooh la la, look at that finished lick. Ooh. You can also do the snake eye right here if you want to, to add an even more oomph to the look. Wow. <laughs> but I am telling you right now, when you go home, you do this, and your partner comes home, guess what? He is going to love it, or she, or whoever, or you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to do this snake eye real quick. No snake eye? Snake eye. No snake eye. <laughs> Alright, let's do the other eye.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope that you like it and that you have a lot of fun with this. Also, the link to buy my designs are, are below. Know that every purchase you make will help support my ultimate goal, which is to build Houston's first orphanage. You know, we need help for all the local orphans.